let's calculate the line cost which will be price multiplied by quantity and quantity in this case is x because the for each function is going through all uh, the components of the chart session or of the chart session array and in every place which is defined by ID uh, there is some quantity inside this part of our array or in uh, inside this cell which is uh, named by ID we have uh, X which is the value the value is assigned uh, to the X variable here we will actually retrieving uh, the quantity which is located inside our array at the place which is defined by ID for example we have a small array with three cells we have here one two and five for example this cell is named to be three this cell is named to be two and the name of this cell is one id is the name of the cell and x is the value of the cell one or five or two for example five is the quantity of item number three item which has id number three okay so we are we are using this x as a quantity and we are multiplying price by the quantity to get the line cost okay at the end of our uh, of our table I want to print uh, the total cost so I will call I will add the line cost to the total cost total cost plus line cost will be assigned into the total cost variable before the loop I need to set total variable to be zero and each time the for each uh, loop is working it will add uh, the line cost to our total variable so at the end we will get the final cost inside uh, total total variable of course I'm assuming that the shipping is free in this website otherwise we can also add some uh, shipping uh, cost to our total variable or any other handling fees or anything you want okay now let's display the name here in this cell okay in the next cell we will the quantity I'm designing a table a little bit with those align attributes X is the quantity as I already explained and let's add another link here call it reduce which will reduce our quantity by one I will change this uh, reduce word by uh, some nice image arrow down arrow red image uh, in the next uh, or maybe even in this lesson okay the URL should be our current page but we should access this page with our ID so let's add here ID variable and let's also add uh, the action which will be 
remove okay now we can close the link tag and go on to print the line cost in our next cell let's open a new cell let's set a line to be right this time and we will add also equal sign and line cost variable okay next we can close our loop here is the opening of the loop and here will be closing of the loop okay then we have our if and this is not essential before closing the table I want to add some bottom line so I will create a new row by the way we need to close our row which was opened here inside the loop let's close it okay and here we are opening a new row which will uh, include uh, the summary of our uh, calculations okay that is the closing and the content should be two cells the first cell will be let's set a line to be right and let's insert a line break the word total is equal to and close this cell let's open a new one also a line break and the uh, the value of our variable total we can even make it bold and let's close our uh, cell okay then the row is closed and the table is closed okay and if nothing is found then we have this uh, message okay now let's save and see if we have any errors so far okay let's add something to our uh, card let's make the action add and the ID is 2 for example Okay, line 75. Let's take a look. Okay, we forgot semicomma here. Okay, we have the reduce link. We have the quantity here. We have the line, uh, the line uh, cost here, but not the total, and we have some uh, problem in line uh, 63 something with line cost okay let's go and check what is the problem and the problem is the dollar sign and that is why the total variable was miscalculated let's go back and refresh okay.